Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We're doing our best to put together Jürgen's monster in a way that makes him the ideal candidate to be Sybil's boyfriend. Because once again, we're playing Sam and Max, and why would that not be a thing? Um, <laughs> so we've got to do that. We've managed to figure out the brain part by using Lincoln's brain, I think. We've definitely managed to figure out the, the hand part. Um, the heart, not so much. We need a heart of gold, and... I was sort of a little bit lost for ideas on that, um, but weirdly, for those who don't know, if you don't follow me on Twitter, don't I've been reading through... Me. I get home thick. Relax. If we go back to Stuttgart, we'll give you a ride. Yeah. But you have to wait in the trunk. Yeah, you wait in the trunk. Uh, I've been reading through Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels, um, and the one I'm on at the moment is Men at Arms, and there's a, a part of that... Well, at some point in the book where it talks about the, the Alchemist's Guild and how they try their best to turn everything into gold basically um, and that made me think of the the alchemy machine or whatever it is well, we in, it, in Jürgen's lair in Stuttgart let's go to Stuttgart because we're looking for a heart of gold so I couldn't really think of I thought that was going to be like you know just like a, a pure heart or something but I'm wondering if we actually have to use the alchemy machine in some way to make a heart of gold so we're going to come here we're going to check this out we're going to see if if there is anything we can do. Do we have the... No, we haven't got the holy water, so we should be able to go straight in. We've also got to figure out what to do with these bolt cutters. Not really sure what to do with those yet. Where we're going to use those. So yeah, I'm thinking we try and make a heart of gold. I'm not, not sure how we're, we're going to go about that, but... It seems like a coincidence, right? Or, or it seems like it's, it's too convenient to be a coincidence. Uh, actually, while we're here, can we do anything with flint paper. I'm disappointed flint fell for such an old trick. <laughs> no, we can't. Fine. All right, well, straight into Jürgen's lair it is. Hey, how'd he beat us back here? Quantum mechanics? It's quite complicated. Fine. Quantum mechanics it is. Fine. Uh, right. So we d yeah, this is what I was talking about, the alchemy machine. It's an alchemy machine. And I think there was a comment about using it to turn gold nuggets into chicken nuggets or, or something like that. So I wonder if we can use anything. The machine's out of power. Oh, it's out of power. Never die batteries. They're dead. <laughs> All right, so we might have to figure out a way to power these batteries up. Uh, okay. How are we going to power this battery up? It's an alchemy up? machine. Uh, hmm, okay. Well, I mean, the obvious thing is there's, like, this. I mean, what happens if we pull this again? All right. I'm up already. <laughs> well, it's not that, is it? So we've got the skylight. I don't know why more dungeon builders don't think to include a skylight. So is there a way we can, like, link this up to the alchemy machine? Or the batteries? Uh, monster diagrams... I don't know. Gauges? Oh, it's a power socket. I can't understand these. Therefore, they're not important. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Right, so there's a power socket here. Ah, oh, nuts. The batteries are dead. Alright, so how are we gonna charge these up? Never die batteries. They're dead. They're dead. Of course they are. Because they never die batteries. Can we... That doesn't need cutting. Okay, so we've got the power... So the power socket comes from the batteries, so we're going to have to find a way to recharge these batteries. Uh, question is how? Obviously there's... There's this, which is powered up to some extent, so I don't know if we can, like, link this up. Maybe? We can't, like, stab this or anything, can we? No. No? Okay. Uh, Max, any ideas? Sometimes Max has suggestions. Uh, okay, the monster is a, that monster is that a dragon. That monster sure is a gloomy gus, isn't he? He acts like he's the only unholy creation who's ever been hated and feared by everyone he sees. <laughs> okay, uh, we need our souls. We've got to get our souls back. I don't know. I'm enjoying being 21 grams lighter. <laughs> our souls are jerks. I never suspected our souls were so obnoxious. I've been telling you for years we shouldn't listen to them. Fine. We're zombies. 
We're zombies. I know. He loves it. How's undeath treating you, Max? How's undeath treating you, Max? It's surprisingly not all that different from anti-life. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. Yeah. Right back at you, Sam. D does this guy have any oh, ideas? Uh, once you're sort, let's go to Sybil's... What's Jorgen's plan again? Your pal Jorgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Okay, fine. Uh, bye. Yeah. Farewell. Fine, so... I mean, there is like a... Some sort of switch or something. I don't know if there's, there's a power. We're gonna have to find a way to charge these batteries, but it doesn't seem like we can take them, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to use something on this rather than take the batteries away. Um, we can't use the bolt cutters because we tried that. We can't use the stake, so it must be something we haven't got. So I guess maybe we just look for something. If we're using the electricity, then. I wonder if we're gonna have to do like a. I wonder if we're gonna have to do like a Back to the Future kind of thing, you know, like where they use the um, the clock tower to to like divert the electricity down into into the car, and they they use the big aerial thing. I wonder if we can use this aerial thing. Do so you know how they use like the big thing and it goes across the wire? Wow, the cops actually installed something. Else. Yeah, they just pull it off. We're gonna have to cut it off the bolt cutters, aren't we? Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense. I embrace all kinds of vandalism. So it is. It's gonna be a Back to the Future kind of deal where we we're gonna channel the lightning with the antenna to power power up the alchemy machine. I'll bet. Uh, uh, Max, you go and do a bit of dancing. We'll head through this way. And we're back. Our souls are just standing there awkwardly. I'm guessing that the, the deal is going to be that we're going to have to use this wooden stake to kill Jürgen at some point. But I'm, well, obviously we can't do that yet. That's, prob that's probably going to be like the end boss kind of deal, isn't it? Right. What do we do with this? Do we just put it in the batteries? Uh, maybe? Okay. Oh no, is he... Maybe he's putting it in the plug socket, actually. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it's... So if we pull this, will it just zap it? Yeah! Okay, oh, wow, it actually... The best kind of neat! It actually... That gave it enough juice. It looks like it. And it also looks like it just completely incinerated the super antenna as well. So this is working now. Never die batteries. They're undead. <laughs> They're undead now. It's an alchemy machine. Uh, right, okay. So do we get the... What was the, the thing here? The artichoke car. Can we use that? Uh, oh, can we not? Take things off of here. Huh. What's he's the only one here with a heart? Okay. Uh, so we can't take those out of there. So we're gonna have to get a heart from somewhere else. Are we gonna get a heart? I mean, unless we have to like stake Jurgen's heart. Jurgen must be sleeping. Maybe Jurgen isn't. It's the... magically sealed. Oh, it's magically sealed. Okay. So we're not going to be able to get in there until we know how to unmagically seal it. Maybe we got like steak. Oh, maybe it's got to be zombie Lincoln's heart. Because then it will sort of be like Lincoln again, which might work. So let's try this. That's only good for vampires. And tense. Oh, only good for vampires. Okay, well, yeah, I suppose it makes sense. It's not how you kill zombies, is it? Alright, um... So we're looking for a heart. 
So two things potentially uh, jump out. Are zombies allowed to drive cars? Yeah. I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. So if we need a heart to put in to turn it into a heart of gold. Um, yeah, let's head back home. Maybe Sybil's got one? Because her thing is whole, like, love heart themed. Or maybe Stinky has one that's, like, part of the menu. Maybe she's serving some sort of heart dish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe we do just need to use that computer chip and put that in to make it, like, a gold heart chip. I don't know. I'm literally just reaching for everything here. Um, Sybil, uh, sorry, Stinky. Yeah. Look, I can't understand you. Oh yeah, she can't understand us. Okay, so that's going to be problematic. Are there any heart-related things in here? Mm, not that I can see. We've got the sticky goo, the pie, a bunch of coffee. Doesn't look like anything heart related. Alright. Fine. So potentially Sybil's place, seeing as that is like the heart area of the the episode, really, isn't it? Okay, Sybil, have you got any heart related things? Please, not the tickets. Not the tickets. Um, number 46. Any heart related things? I mean, can we take the soul mater? Right. I still need the soul mater. Right, still need it. Okay. Um, any heart related things anywhere? I actually can't see any heart things. What's all this? Gifts? Oh, chocolate heart! Here we go. Oh, please! I need that! Ah, so we're gonna have to find a way of. No, I need that. Okay, there was a thing when we. I still can't decide. Which question should I ask? There was one of these questions that made him, like, take really long to answer, wasn't there? Uh, was it this one? Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend always knew the right thing to say. What would you whisper in my ear in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. And Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. <laughs> Bachelor number three, your answer? What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most yeah, this is the one. Say. See, he takes forever to decide. So Keep I bet... your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! Ah. What? Oh! <laughs> I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The, the, the zombies! <laughs> the anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better... Oh, well, me. that's worked out in a way I wasn't expecting, but I'm, I'm happy about it. Go on, get out of here. That's it. Hang your head in shame. <laughs> I'll hold the door for you. Thank Max. you for filling in on such short notice, Agent Superball. Oh it? God. <laughs> My oh pleasure. no. You're looking radiant. All right. Well, I guess maybe that means he's not guarding the entrance. So maybe we can take the holy water into the thing now. Or will he just teleport back? So we. Okay. So, we've got a heart. Let's see if we can take that heart and put it into the, um... Don't leave without me. We won't. We'll just skip that dialogue, because it's kind of annoying that he says that every time you leave, actually. I won't lie. Um, right. Where are we headed, Sam? We are headed back to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Yeah, so I don't know if we still need to figure out that word question as well. We potentially do. I mean, I don't know whether... We'll just win because Super Bowl and the Featherly are just rubbish. Yeah, look. Well, let's get our stuff out of here. There's a bottle of holy water. Alright, well, that, that's convenient because now we can actually get in. Nice. 
fine. Jürgen's Lair. Let's head in. Let's see if we can do anything with this this heart. See if we can turn it into gold. I like it when things like this just come together, you know. Like, honestly, the odds of me reading that particular passage of a Terry Pratchett novel right as I was between recording these episodes are probably so ridiculously out there. But I guess sometimes, maybe it's just meant to be. I don't know. Or maybe I just paid attention to it more because of this puzzle. Who knows? <laughs> We're not going to get too deep, guys. Seems like a waste of good chocolate. It does, actually. It does. So, a heart of gold, I'm guessing. Hey, nice. Jürgen, take this. Get me my checkbook quick. I need to give to charity. Lovely. Okay, fine. Perfect. So we've got the, uh, the hand. We've got the heart of gold. We've got Lincoln's brain. I think we might be good, but unfortunately, we're out of time for this episode. So in the next one, we will go back to Sybil's. We'll see if that worked, whether we need to figure out the words part of the puzzle as well. I'm guessing we probably do, but who knows. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tammy Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.